for those who were on the scene say police overreacted. Caroline Van Vlardigan reports. In footage shot by an amateur cameraman early this morning, police arrived at the Palais de Commerce on Berry Street at around 2 this morning. Several hundred young people who were inside for a rave party had poured out into the street because they'd been told that the permit did not allow the establishment to stay open any longer. For close to an hour and a half, there was a standoff between police in riot gear and the partygoers, with several young people taunting police. Finally, at around 3.30 in the morning, officers blocked off both sides of the street, forcing the mob into an enclosed space and took action. This video shows police chasing some young people and then beating them as they tried to leave. All right, don't hit him again! Rock, as he is called, was there. Today he told us that police went overboard. And there was a guy on, on a bicycle who came and started lecturing them about their tactics and two cops chased after him as he was trying to bike up a hill. Of course, they caught up to him and they just started beating him in the back and threw him down and started beating him some more. So, in your opinion, did the cops overreact? What happened? Definitely, definitely. But this student who took the video says police showed remarkable restraint for most of the standoff, except for at the very end. In your opinion, did the police overreact? There was only one instance when the police actually did overreact. The, the other times it looked like it was quite well planned. What happened that one time? Well, the officer came and um, it looked like one of the guys fell down and the officer took three smacks at the guy, two with a stick and one with his foot. And if you're already on the ground, I don't think there's any reason to uh, continue hitting him. MUC police say there were no arrests and that they were called to the location for a complaint of disturbing the peace. According to police, they had an informal agreement with the hall to allow the party to go on until 3 a.m., but no longer. They say whatever force was used was necessary to disband the crowd. Caroline Van Vlardingen, Pulse News.